Hello friends, today I'm back with another tutorial for Chibitronics. Today I'm using the My Favorite Things Happy Hippo and my Spectrum Noir's Aqua Pants. I'm using them for the first time. I stamped my images using some Versafine black ink and stamped them on watercolor paper from Crafter's Companion. I also stamped a balloon image with some Stazon ink on acetate because I will need it later. To create a nice blend, I'm putting my color to the darkest places of the image and blend it out with my watercoloring brush. In the top right corner, you can see a little chart I've made for my aqua pants. This is so I can decide easier which colors I want to use. For each coloring medium, and inks I have, I like to have a, a color chart. It really saves me a lot of time. I wanted to mention that this video is a little bit different than normally. I wanted to create a slider switch for my LED card, but I didn't get it to work, so I decided to create just a normal LED card while making this card. But I will try my best to explain you exactly what I did. Now for my background, I just scribbled some sparkle pens from Spectrum Noir on top of my watercoloring paper and then blended with my watercoloring brush. I used a lot of water to get a nice blend and I also wanted the colors to be a bit muted. I didn't get the look I wanted, so I decided to put some tissue paper on top of it and it really made the look I wanted. Now you can see the structure of the paper. This is why I'm using my watercoloring brush just to blend the structure out. I'm using my heat gun to heat set the paper. And now you can see the beautiful sparkle the pens make. I'm die cutting now my background and my other pieces I need for the card. I cut a frame from glitter paper. I die cut some clouds from white paper and vellum. I'm laying down my scene because I wanted to know where exactly everything will be. I have to know it to start creating my LED construction. I'm using a circle die as a guide because I wanted to create a lightning circle around my hippo. Now that I have the circle, I can put the places where the LED will be later. And then I'm using my crafting knife to poke in the holes. I don't like to make big holes with my crafting knife. To widen them, I use a stylus. Now you can see all the holes for the LEDs and you can imagine a little bit how the card will look like. I'm erasing all the pencil lines. And can you see the little stripe there? Please ignore it as it was done to create my slider switch. But it doesn't matter, I can use this card anyway because the hippo will cover the stripe. As you can see, I already created my first side of the LED circuit. I'm really sorry because I forgot to turn the camera on on this part. But this is the same procedure as every card when I create LED cards. You create your first side of the LED circuit and then you create the other side. And also you need a switch. This is just a simple piece of paper taped down. To get good and smooth circuits, you have to bend the copper tape back and forward. You bend the tape in the opposite direction than you want and then forward to the direction you want. This helps you that the tape won't tear. I use my bone folder to smoothen the tape down and press it really good to the paper. This helps you to have a good working circuit. As always, I apply my first LED to the copper tape and press it really hard to it and try if everything is working. Then I apply the remaining LEDs to the copper tape. And now the technical part of this card is finished. I taped down the strap that I told you before that I wanted to use for my slider switch, but, but this part you can totally skip. Now I'm using my foam tape and I'm using two layers of it to start assembling my card. Normally I wouldn't have removed the backing paper from the foam tape, 
but as I wanted this to be a slider switch, I needed it to tape down. This was the part which didn't work for the slider switch, and before I needed to throw everything away, I decided just to make a normal LED card and try the slider switch the next time. I cut the half background away because I always like to hide the thickness of LED cards. The frame I'm taping now with foam tape is just one layer of foam tape. At the bottom of the card I've glued down a second layer of foam tape. I'm sorry I missed filming the part where I glued down my background on top of the LED circuit again, but you can see how it looks finished. I use my glitter frame just as a guide where I want to apply my card panel. I use my scotch tape glider because I don't really like liquid glue. For the glitter frame I'm using two layers of foam tape. From the foam tape I'm cutting really narrow stripes to fit the frame perfectly. I found it easier to apply the foam tape without the backing paper as the stripes are really narrow. I forgot to attach my missing clouds to my background before I apply the glitter frame to the card base. This is what I'm doing now. And just a tiny little check if everything is still working. Now I can apply my glitter frame to the card base and the card is almost finished. But I totally forgot to stamp my sentiment before I assembled the card together. If possible, don't do it like this. I stamped my sentiment using my Versamark ink pad and your silver embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp. At this part you have to be careful as the embossing powder could stick everywhere. You have to be careful while heat setting the embossing powder because the battery is right under the sentiment. But everything went well. I'm using some glossy accent on top of the balloons because I want them to be really shiny. I used some iridescent little stars from Lucy's Little Things to glue on top of the LEDs. I thought it would match the scene perfectly. Now the card is all finished and you can see the finished result. I hope as always that you liked my card and my tutorial. Here you can see more cards that you may be interested in. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.